open, inspect, and lay out your pieces. Remember to use an Allen key and not a drill when assembling. Plastic is flexible and you may need to persuade the pieces to align them properly. Make sure you don't toss out the hardware bag. Inside the bag, you'll find written instructions. One Allen key, 19 lock locks, 31 one inch bolts, two inch and three eighths bolts. The lock bolts have a front and a back. The front has a concave section for the screw head to fit flush when fully tightened. Make sure when installing the blocks that you have put the correct side out towards yourself. Insert two lock locks into the grooves on the back connector. Line the back brace into the long groove of the back connector. Attach the right leg with a one inch bolt. Attach the left leg with a one inch bolt. Insert lock blocks into each seat brace. Attach them to the back connector with a one inch bolt. Insert a lock block into the center leg. Attach it to the back connector with a one inch bolt. Spin your seat you've been assembling around. Grab your face plate. Insert five lock blocks into the legs and seat braces. Attach the faceplate with a one inch bolt. Start with the center leg and then do the outer two legs. This will make attaching the seat braces to the faceplate much easier. Now tighten all the bolts fully. Insert nine lock locks into the legs. Move the seat you just assembled off to the side. Lay out your seat slat A and two seat slat B on the table. Put seat slat A with the groove closest to you. Grab the seat you set aside and lay it on top of the seat slats. Line up the groove and screw holes. Attach the slats with a one inch bolt. Do the outside first and tighten them fully. Then do the ones in the middle. Turn your seat to the side. Grab one of the front legs. Line up the groove and the leg with the seat. Attach with one inch bolts. Spin the seat around and do the same with the other leg.
Now tighten all the bolts fully. Roll the seat over onto its feet. Grab your back and line it up on the seat. There are four bolts that attach the back. Reach underneath and attach the two outer one inch bolts. If you can, attach the remaining two inch bolts. Otherwise, you can flip the piece over and let it hang off of your workstation. This will allow for easier access to the holes. Attach the remaining two bolts and tighten. Flip the sofa back onto its feet. Grab the left arm and attach it to the left leg. Use a one inch bolt. Now attach the left arm to the back. Use one of the inch and three eighths bolts. You may need to apply some backwards pressure to the arm to get the holes to line up. Now tighten all the bolts fully. Grab the right arm. You know it's the right arm because there's a bottle over it. Attach the right arm to the right leg. The one inch bolt will hold the bottle opener in place under the arm. Use the other inch and three eighths bolt to attach the right arm to the back. 